Corpus Christi. Western half westward, it's going to be primarily a sleet and freezing rain event. And then west of this line, still a sleet and perhaps snow event that would cover George West. Not talking about a lot of snow, just the flakes falling from the sky mixed in with that sleet. And then out here to the west, more in the way of snow. But that's the way it looks. For tomorrow night, possible ice on the roads. Use caution on bridges and overpasses. They're suspended and flyovers above the ground. The ground is inherently warm, so anything suspended above it is going to cool first, like the top of your car, the top of your roof. Perhaps uh, a glaze uh, to light icing is possible, and the timing of this moisture is still a little bit difficult because it's not coming with the front. It's coming behind the front with the overrunning. We also have a freeze warning. Uh, I don't think you need to worry too much about your pipes, but your pets, your tender plants and yourself need to be covered up and uh, bring your pets inside. Forget about covering them, bring them inside. And the gale warning for the near and offshore water. Satellite and radar shows. There's the front. It's in the hill country now. It'll be here by midnight. Severe weather uh, is now raking across the Tennessee Valley in the deep south again. Hate to see that. But that's what's happening there. We will not be engaged in that at all. There's the snow up in the Panhandle and into Oklahoma right now. And very cold air following the front is pushing temperatures southward. So there's that cold air. It's heavy and dense. And then there's a disturbance back out here to the west right there. That disturbance is going to ride to the east. And that'll pull this uh, moisture in from the Pacific. And it'll ride up over the top of the front because it's warm and lighter air. Once it gets in the clouds where temperatures are actually a little above freezing, it falls and starts to freeze and form sleet. And when it hits the ground where temperatures are freezing or less, it turns to ice. And that's the problem. And it's marginal. This is not going to be anything like the deep freeze back in uh, February of last year. But the front comes in. Here it is. This is at midnight. Pushes on through. We get a break in the action at 7 in the morning. Then light rain starts to develop during the day tomorrow. Tomorrow, cold light rain and then tomorrow night when the coldest air arrives behind the front we're going to see a wintry mix here in pink this is 11:30 tomorrow night and then that pushes into the region through 7 in the morning on the back side of this we get a little bit of snow and uh, again that is not in Corpus Christi but down here to the south near Hebronville and Benavides looks like the best area for perhaps seeing the snow coming through so the potential uh, precipitation forecast on all this is uh, pretty substantial we haven't seen a lot uh, volume wise and it's going to be light during the day tomorrow but it starts to pick up then as we get into tomorrow night the NAM model is showing the ice accumulating a little bit, especially in the western half of the area, but not here in the city. So tonight we go all the way down to 42. Tomorrow we only recover to 43, then 31. That's where the freezing rain comes in. And then 45 here on Friday, 35 and 55 Saturday, 42 and 54 Sunday with a hint of sunshine. Then light rain likely again on Monday, and then it starts to warm up a little bit after that, Pat.